Recall that the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to ln of x plus c. What about if we're asked to solve the integral of 1 over 2x minus 3 dx? In this case, you have to realize that 1 over x and 1 over 2x minus 3 are pretty similar, but the only thing that has happened is 2x minus 3 has replaced x here. Therefore, we have the composition of functions. If you want to check if you can do substitution, what we have to ask is, if this function is g of x, do we have the derivative of g of x multiplying or almost? In this case, the derivative of g of x is just 2. And you have a 1 on top of the fraction. So 2 is just multiple of 1. Therefore, you could apply substitution. In fact, when you have a fraction and you want to check if you can apply substitution, it is easier to check if your fraction is written in this form. Do you have a function at the bottom and almost the derivative on top? Because if that is the case, then you can be sure that you can apply substitution. So in this case, we will call u to 2x minus 3, therefore du dx is equal to 2 and then if we want to leave dx by itself we just have to cross multiply so we have du is equal to by dx and then divided both sides across by 2 we get that dx is equal du over 2 so we have our u and we have dx in terms of du going back to the integral we can replace 2x minus 3 by u, so we have 1 over u, and then instead of dx, we are going to write du over 2. If we take a half outside, then we are left with the integral of 1 over u, du, which is precisely this one here. The integral of 1 over u is ln of u plus the constant of integration. And then if we just bring our x back, our answer would be a half ln of 2x minus 3 plus c. What about the integral of x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 5? In this case, we also have the integral of a fraction. Therefore, a quick check to know if substitution can be applied would be to have a look at the bottom function, which is x squared minus 2x plus 5, and then to have a look at the top of that fraction and ask yourself, is that the derivative of the bottom function? If we differentiate x squared minus 2x plus 5, the derivative of that is 2x minus 2 which is a multiple of the function on top, as if you multiply x minus 1 by 2, you will get 2x minus 2. Therefore, we can apply substitution in this case. And we are going to call u to the bottom of that fraction, x squared minus 2x plus 5. We calculate du dx, this is 2x minus 2 which is the same as writing 2 by x minus 1. You can take 2 as a common factor, and in fact, it'll be easier if you do that for cancelling later on. Now, if you know du dx is 2 by x minus 1, we can cross multiply, so we have du is equal 2 by x minus 1 by dx, and then dividing across by 2 by x minus 1, we get that dx is equal du over 2 by x minus 1. Going back to the integral, we can now write the original one as the integral of x minus 1 over u by, instead of dx, we are going to write du over 2 by x minus 1. And if you have a look now, x minus 1 cancels with x minus 1, and therefore 
you have no x left. Then you have to solve the integral of 1 over u by du over 2. So as before, we will take a half outside, and then inside what we have is the integral of the log function. We have 1 over 2, and then the integral of 1 over u is simply ln of u plus the constant of integration. If we bring our x back, then we have that the answer is a half ln of x squared minus 2x plus 5 plus c.